Welcome to Sales Funnel Mastery. Today, we're talking about how to advertise on a billboard for your sales funnel. I'm Brandon Stiles. I'm a digital marketer out of Atlanta and a sales funnel expert. And today, we're talking about billboard advertising. So there is a science and an art, as with everything with marketing, to advertising on a billboard. And I feel like when I'm cruising down the highway, cruising down the highway, whatever, a lot of companies get it wrong. So let's go over some simple strategies for advertising on a billboard that make it effective. So let's just use this whole whiteboard as a billboard, all right? So you're driving down the road and this is like 10 times bigger than it is right now and cars see this. So think about it, you've got a car going down the road probably at 50 miles an hour. So they don't have a lot of time to A, read your billboard because of the speed and also because they're not just looking for billboards on the side of the road. Also, you're dealing with kind of advertising blindness. So people see billboards every day and they kind of tune them out. So what can you do with your billboard to make it stand out? Well, one strategy is to go down the stretch of highway or stretch of road where you plan on putting your billboard and seeing what they're doing right now. So if a lot of them are blue with pictures of smiling people and huge yellow letters, then you might want to get away from that because if you can do all white with no pictures and maybe just simple black letters or whatever, yours will automatically stick out because it doesn't look like everyone else. So think about that. But to get a little bit more nitty gritty, on your billboard, you're only going to want to use about seven words. Seven words is right in the sweet spot where people will have time to read it and still drive and not crash into the person in front of them and die. So you're trying to get your billboard down to seven words. So it's a headline, basically. Now, I read a study the other day, and when I was creating this video, what I was going to say was, make sure you put a tracking link for your website on your billboard. However, I'm not convinced that's still the case. For example, let's say if you had a long URL... All right, and it was like a plastic surgeon man in Atlanta dot com slash call us today. So because that's specific, you could use it as a tracking link to check how effective your billboard is. But the thing is, people aren't going to be like, oh, I'm going to memorize that real quick while I'm driving and doing a hundred other things, call us today. They're probably just going to see your logo, maybe that's your logo right there, and the company name, and just Google that. So they're probably not going to go to a specific action page. Now that's a little unfortunate because it makes tracking your billboard uh, a little hard, but I thought of a, an alternative, what you could do. You could set up a totally new splash page for this. So if your company is called Plastic Surgeons uh, of Georgia, what you could do, instead of directing people to that site, you could set up an alternate page. So you could give this billboard a name. So if the billboard was about getting a, let's say, rhinoplasty surgery. Then you could say, or you could write, rhinoplasty idea dot com. And only put this website address on this billboard. So that way, people will go to this and you can still test the effectiveness of your billboard without just being like, oh, we'll see how many. Because you still need to know if people are going to your billboard. If you get 100,000 impressions a month and you get three clicks to this website, you'll probably want to nix that billboard, okay? Second thing to do is test your billboard. And this is how you do that. My advice would be to create five variations of what you think your billboard is. So here's one variation, two, three, four, five. And 
if possible, put these out online, put these with your, send them to your friends, your colleagues, your coworkers, and run a visual eye inspector test. Think of it like uh, how Crazy Egg does or how Hotjar does, so they can track mouse movements and eye movements and see what people look at first. This is a great way to see what people are looking at on your billboard because if your logo is here and your call to action is here, but people are looking like all the way over here because maybe you've got like a laughing baby, then in those three to four seconds you've got for those people to pass by, they're not even seeing this stuff. So use eye tracking tests. There's tons of stuff out there. Just Google eye tracking tests and you'll be able to upload your five or seven billboard variations and see which ones work best in terms of people looking at your logo. So if you get one where people look here first and then look there, that's your winner. That's the one that's going to convert best when you put billboards up on the highway. So there are a few tips for using a billboard to advertise. I think it's always good to use smiling faces. People connect to that. It's going to be the first thing they look at. Uh, maybe have the eyes looking over your headline, something like that. That stuff is important when you're doing this because you only have like three to five seconds to make an impression with a billboard. So I think you can still get a lot out of it. I had a friend recently tell me that if a lawyer puts up a billboard, he's going to see a ton of boom in his business immediately. See, I thought billboards were kind of dead, but when I heard that and then did some research into effective billboard advertising, it changed my mind a little bit. Who knew? You learn something every day. So anyways, those are some tips on how to create a successful billboard that actually builds your business.